made that splash exactly a year ago today and it's been a mad year I remember uh, I, I snuck into the studio um, New Year's Eve 2020 at night time and uh, made two pinks Cerise pinks and I made a green and I was all excited because I've been wanting to splash a painting from a height for weeks I don't know why I just wanted to create a bit of impact in the paintings I think um, so I climbed up high with my colours they were my flying colours and I just let I just threw them off and I really uh, I really felt great actually there's a lot of luck a lot of chance I liked the sound of the paint as it hit the canvas and then I came down and I looked at it and and straight away I, I liked how the, it kind of energised some of the structures that were in the piece so I had to leave it flat for a week or so to dry and then I turned it up and hung it on the wall and when I hung it on the wall I realised that I liked what happened but it needed more so I stared at it for weeks and then around uh, springtime I added some other structures into it and took them out and then middle spring I put that big tall yellow structure up the middle and I added wings to the structure because somehow it looked a little bit heavy and I needed to lighten it if it needed to fly away or anything so that was in the middle and then um, over time different things changed during the summer I put that large red painting section section at the bottom which seemed to kind of put manners in the rest of the painting it seemed more kind of grown up and it kind of balanced all the chaos around it and then a few weeks later in that droid I added the blue what I see as a Berlin structure that came from doing drawings in Berlin this 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 was fun, like this This went over the red and it kind of changed the whole feel of it again, created a new dimension in the piece. And then, um, so what I realise now, having looked at it like that in a way, I like, I like the way the, I like the way the piece has evolved over the year. And I do know like, that things like the top left hand corner, that floor, and other colours in the piece were actually, like osmosis from my uh, my lockdown studio that I was in was surrounded by flowers and I think those colours just seeped into the paintings this painting in particular so in a way it's like uh, geometrical urban forms that are softened by nature really in a strange kind of way